Operation iDroid on the wheel. We're gonna time to musk up. I have a next test here with Cyanogen mod. But that's not the point. This video is to show you guys how to get PSX 3.0 instead of PSX 2.0 because it is very bad. We're gonna go to Google. Let that load really quick. And we're gonna type in PSX number 4 Droid 3 down. Down for download, of course. And we're gonna go to the third link. This is gonna lead us to the official download link, which is the one that says zottd.com, the first link in the, in the website. And this is a file, and we're gonna click OK in order for us to actually install the app. This will take a while. I have three other previous downloads, but this is the primary one. And there it is. You're going to click on it, and then it's going to ask you to install, and yes. If you didn't um, let your sources, if you didn't under, um, let unknown sources, you're going to have to go to your settings and manage application and then click on, click on that. Oh, force close, let me just go back to that. We're going to look for the BIOS. You can get the BIOS by downloading the app ROM Fetcher to the market. It'll be $2.59. There is no easy way out of it. It's the only way you can get the ROMs. I'm going to go to... I'm going to go to Extracted. And then I already have the BIOS there. And there you have it. We have it there. Now let's see if the ROMs work. We're going to go through my files and look for ROMs. And I have PSX there. I already have a couple games downloaded with Mega Man X6 just to see how that works. Working perfectly. I'm gonna go to some a loaded game and see if that was working. Perfect. Working nice and smooth. If you wanna change the settings, go to settings and I don't know, the orientation maybe, if you like it more of a landscape, and go yeah, there. All this operation, iDroid, and it's time to sign out. Thanks for watching. Later. Rate, comment, and subscribe.